Hello friends, this video on heredity and evolution part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now talk about the inherited traits. Just now I was telling her heredity is nothing but passing of traits from parents to offspring. So what are those traits which, which are passed on from one generation to another generation. So let us look at some examples and try to understand what exactly are inherited traits. So as I said, inheritance from your parents will give you a basic body design that is the kid of a, an elephant will be an elephant, the kid of a human will be a human, the kid of a plant will be a plant. But on top of that, it also gives subtle changes in it for the next generation. And these changes are more prominent for organisms which reproduce sexually than those organisms which reproduce asexually. What is an inherited trait? It is a trait that is genetically passed down from one generation to another. As I said, certain characteristics which are passed from parents to the offsprings through the genes. So the transfer takes place through genes. So let us look at some examples which define inherited traits which will give you more idea about what are inherited traits. Look at this example. So here you can see that the man with the black hair and a woman with a brown hair, they got married. So they reproduced and they gave birth to two kids. Now here if you see one of their kids have got black hair which he inherited from his father. So the black hair is an inherited trait. Similarly, the other kid who has got brown hair, he inherited the same from his mother. So the brown hair is also an inherited trait. So the hair color is an inherited trait or an inherited characteristic. Similarly, the kind of hair they have. For example, you can see that the, the kid with black hair, this kid has got straight hairs, right? And the mother has got straight hair, but the father has got curly hair. So this kid has got the type of his hair or the kind of hair, whether it is straight or curly, that he has inherited from his mother. Similarly, there are certain, some other examples also which are inherited from parents, maybe our height, our complexion. These are also different traits which get inherited from parents. Let us look at some of the examples like hair color. You, you would have seen that people I have many different hair colors. Some have black hair, some are blonde, some have brown hair, some have curly hair, some of them have extremely straight hairs, some have wavy hair. So there are many different types of hair and there are many different colors of hair. So hair color is an example of inherited trait. Eye color is another example. People might have a blue eye, people might have a black eye, people might have a brown eye. So there are different eye colors and eye color is again an inherited trait which the offspring gets it from their previous generation. Height, shape of the feet, you will see that different people have different shapes of feet. It is not exactly identical with everybody and the shape of the feet also sometimes if you observe very closely when, when a small child is born in maybe in your family or in your neighborhood if you try to just see the features of the child and try to compare it with their parents, sometimes you will see that some features exactly tally with the parents. It, it looks as if uh, a small copy of the parents' feet is what you are seeing. So some of the features are like, becomes very evident even from childhood. Ear lobes, it is a, a very common inherited trait. Now in ear lobes, we have two types of ear lobes. One is free and the other one is attached. So here in this picture, you can see this is a free ear lobe. So here this ear lobe is free. But here you can see that it is attached with the skin. So this is called an attached ear lobe and this is called a free ear lobe. So these are some of the examples of inherited traits which, which ch children uh, inherit from their parents. Now the most important question, how do the traits get inherited? Till now we were only talking about what is heredity, what are inherited traits. I think many of us would have had some idea about whatever we have talked so far. Now the most important question comes, how, how are these traits passing on from one generation to another? How is this actually happening? That is the most important question. So for this, 
a major contribution was given by Gregor Mendel. So Gregor Mendel is the name who gave the major contribution in the field of genetics and that is why he is known as the father of genetics. Now it, will be, it is very interesting to know that he actually studied math, mathematics as well as science and he always wanted to be a teacher but his aspiration to become a teacher was a failure. That's because he could not clear the exam which is needed for the, which was needed for the teaching certificate. With that failure, what did he do? He did something really interesting. He came back and he started growing pea plant in his monastery. Now, he not only grew the peas, he also started studying inheritance with the help of those pea plants. So, he started studying inheritance in peas. Now, there were many scientists before Mendel who studied inheritance with peas, but the exceptional thing which Mendel did was that since he had also studied mathematics, so he tried to combine mathematics with inheritance. That is, he started keeping count of individuals exhibiting a particular trait in each generation. That means he grew a lot of peas. Now, he started, started doing mix and match with the peas. So he made the peas to crossbreed with each other and then the new pea plant which was formed, he started keeping count that how many pea plants resembled their parents, how many pea plants had new characters, how many pea plants had some other character. So he not only uh, started keeping record of what kind of characters the new plants showed, he also started keeping account of how many pea plants showed how, what type of characters. So mathematics and science together blended and Mendel could discover a lot of new things and that is why he became the father of genetics. So now we will talk about Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.